Welcome to Off the Wall, a video series about the hat life. Alex from your Gorn Brothers virtual styling team here today to talk about what to do when your hat gets wet. Sometimes an unavoidable situation. Don't despair. I'm here to help. Let's get to it. Okay, so common question we get. Let's say I, uh, you were out in, in the rain and you didn't have a rain spray on your hat, which is something I addressed in a video, how to prepare your hat for rain didn't have that spray on there, it got wet, is my hat ruined, what do I do? Well, don't panic, we're gonna try to save it as best we can. The most important thing to do to start is to let it dry naturally. So what does that mean? We're really wanting the hat to dry on its own. I wouldn't put uh, a blow dryer on it, I wouldn't put it near a heater, none of that. None of that will be good for the finish of the hat. We want this to dry as naturally as possible. What you can do is take maybe some paper towels or a towel itself and just kind of gently spot dry and try to soak up some of the excess moisture. You wanna to try to get some of that out or shake it out. That'll really help as well. What else I would do is turn this upside down and let it dry that way, kind of naturally that way. Because if it soaks down, and maybe a stiff rim is not the best example, but if, if it soaks in to the brim itself, it's gonna to start to distort and weight the brim. So that moisture we really want to come out so that it's not distorting the brim and shaking it down. It's easier to have it come all the way out from the body upside down than to have it right side up. So, super easy and super basic. From there, once it dries, then you might need to do some re-steaming. So reference one of my videos on how to re-steam and reshape your hat for that. But, naturally let it dry. Keep it upside down for as much as you can of that process. And that's basically it. Once it gets dry, you can fix it. That's it for this one, super quick one. Until I see you next time, keep living that hat life.